Let's take a look at file handling in Python. Now, the first thing we want to do is create a file. And we'll use the built-in function open. The first parameter for this is the file name, which we will call players.txt. So all we want to do is create a simple text document. And we will use the X mode. Now, the second parameter here is defining the mode in which you want open to work in. So on the left hand side, you can see we have a project view, which just has our main directory, main.py, which is our code file, and we will be creating plays.txt in this directory. So if we had to run this, we will now see plays.txt was created here. We open it and it's empty. That's fine. Now, if we run this code again, it'll come back with an error. And this is because this mode will will throw an error on purpose if players.txt already exists. That's a useful feature. But what if we want to now write to this file? We'll use the W mode for writing. So now we would want to have access to the file like this. We will say file dot. And you can see, just like everything else in Python, we have access to built-in functions. We want to use write. And we want to write Harry Payne. Okay, and then we want to close our file. So now, if we had to run this, it runs fine. And it plays a TXT, we have Harry Kane written. Now, notice that it didn't throw any errors. The W mode will create the file if it doesn't exist, but it won't throw an error if it already does. So let's delete this. Uh, yeah, delete anyway. If we run it again, it creates the file and writes in it. So that's good. But what if we now wanted to add a new player to that file? So instead of Harry Kane, what if we just wanted to put Wayne Rooney in there? Okay. And if we run that, place the TXT. Now it has Wayne Rooney in it, but it's got rid of Harry Kane. So what we want to do is instead of using write mode, which writes fine, it's perfect. But what if we just want to append to the file? We will use the append mode. So let's start again. By this time, we'll make sure this file's empty. And we say file write Harry Kane. Close. Cool. So if we run this, we get Harry Kane. And now, if we did Wayne Rooney and ran it again, it's added Harry Kane. Sorry, while well, Harry Kane was there, we have now added Wayne Rooney, which is great because it didn't get rid of the existing data, but we want it on a new line. So all you need to do is let's again delete this. And if we said Harry Payne and then insert a new line. Now you notice we just did backslash n as part of the string, but Python sees it as a special thing. And it will, if we run this code, It'll create Harry Kane and notice it's created line two. It's empty though, and that's absolutely fine. So now if we want to do Wayne Rooney and run that again, we now have Harry Kane with Wayne Rooney on a new line. So now what if we want to read plays.txt and print its contents to terminal down below? We need to change the mode to read. So we will open plays.txt and read it. And we'll say file.read. And we don't need this anymore. And file.read, we would want file contents. That's a good variable name. So file read will be stored in file contents. We'll close the file because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll just print out the contents of the file. Great. So now we have Harry Kane and Wayne Rooney. 